Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Y2. Today it is finally time. It is here. Area 10. The final area in the Y Tree Hollow. Let's go! Probably the most menacing place in all of Genova. We're going down it. We're going down it and let's see how long will this Let's see how many floors this uh, place actually has. Let's see, before we begin, let's see- Oh my- Flo Floors! Oh my god, I think we're in for a ride here. Anyway, as always, it's time to speed up and play music. So, I will see you guys in a little while. Here we go!
And I think that pretty much covers the first floor of Area 10, so we're going down to the 17th floor now. We, we're like a fourth of the way there and we're like 45 minutes in as always. I was kind of expecting every floor to take 45 minutes, which means this entire area will probably take me up around 3 hours to complete. If I don't run into any trouble, you know. So anyway, uh, I don't know where, if the gate trainer is on this floor, I'll see about that, but anyway, it's time to speed up again.
We have found you! Good, y'all are making it this far. I'm the gay trainer. It's my duty to test your skills and see if you are strong enough to face the boss trainer. So here we go! To battle against the boss trainer. Or not the boss trainer, sorry. The gatekeeper trainer of Area 10. So here we go. She's going to start off with the level 75 slacking. And as you've seen... Uh, what I've done uh, when I fought these lackings, because I know for a fact that Aura Sphere won't one hit KO simply because of that berry is holding. So I'm just gonna switch right into Umi because I know it will hit me with the hammer arm. I mean, I know this is it has been going by really fast for you guys, but really slowly for me. But uh, oh no, oh I did it wrong. Oh god damn it, I'm an idiot. Okay, that just made no difference whatsoever because. Now it's loafing around, he will just use hammer hammer arm again. So, what I was supposed to do is use Surf on, on uh, Slacking Desk, then switch out into Kratos. This you can see there, it works, or it hasn't worked yet, but it will work, I guarantee it. Unfortunately, I'm not able to want to KO Snorlax, and though Snorlax and Machamp, Snorlax, Machamp, and Slacking are pretty much the Pokemon. I've had the most trouble with this far. Uh, Gyarados I can deal with because of Shabby's uh, uh, Wild Charge move. But yeah, uh, other than that, I mean Kratos is about to become level 95! My god, that is just insanity! The Chubbleberry, that's what it's called. I'll probably forget it right away, but whatever. Umi is level 81, my god. Uh, Drift Blim, I'm just gonna stay in. I know for a fact that Kratos will be the one in KO with, with a Dark Pulse. I mean, I'm almost 20 levels higher at this point. Which uh, might be a bad thing or a good thing that I have like one Pokemon that is insanely over leveled compared to the rest of them. But that is something that just was necessary for this. For the, for the White Tree Hollow, in my opinion. I'll beat you next time, I won't let a new person like you show me up. So there we go, we defeated Gator. You're a lot stronger than you look. I say you're good enough, I'll open up the gate. And I have no idea where this where this gate is. If it says if she says it's on the bottom floor, boss trainer's here. I'm going to level 19. I don't care about level 18. I feel like I'm I'm prepared. I am prepared, I want to go down to level 19 and then take out the boss trainer. I don't care, I mean, all the level, I mean level 18 is basically now just for grinding to get more levels, but I, I if I'm going to be honest, I don't care at this point, I just want to get this done. So I'm just going to speed up once again, once again, yeah, yeah. let's go. And we are now right here, I, I think I fought almost all the trainers on this particular particular level and as I said, I'm, skitty, I'm skipping bottom floor 18, going down to 19! And uh, what I'll try to do, is pro I'll probably save, save my game and then just try to go around and find the actual gate. So anyway, I'll see you guys in just one moment!
And we are finally here at the gate. So let me just go ahead and save my game really quickly before we go in there. Yeah, I, I'm so happy I managed to find this one right right now because I'm one and a half hour in and I've skipped one floor and I pretty much skipped this entire floor except for the bit trying to find this place. And we're here. We are freaking here. Hello there. Back in Grandpa Older's house, we promised, remember, we're gonna compete with each other and see who's stronger! And here is the battle with the Benga! He's going to start off with Eladius, level 80, who is Psychic Dragon type with the ability to levitate. So don't try to hit it with any ground type modes because it will not work. Latias is mostly a defensively oriented Pokemon, so it's probably going to take this Dark Pulse actually rather well. Well, I say rather well, and I take it out the one in which I critical it! Oh, that's amazing! Level 96 and greatest too! Well, I'm quite over level compared to his Pokemon, but we're finally here! I can't believe it! Next up is going to be his Dragonite, so I'm just going to switch right into Umi because Dragonite is Dragon Flying type, which means it's four times super. four times. oh, sorry. Four times weak against ice type moves, but he's probably going to be holding a Yach Yachi Berry. Let's see. No, he's not holding a Yachi Berry. I thought I thought he would would do, considering all of the other trainers in this place having another Gregory. That's amazing. Okay, so Benga is down to his last Pokemon, and that is going to be a Volcarona. So I think I think we're doing this, people. I think we're finally doing this. Benga, you're going down. I'm bringing out Sabaku. Volcarona is Fire Bug type, which means it's four times weak against. Rock type moves. Here we go. I'm eight levels higher. I'm outspeeding it. I'm done! Victory is our. Oh my god, it's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he has a focus dash. Okay. Victory is not ours because. Oh, he's going to queer dance. Well, that's not going to matter in his life because even if he. For some reason, outspeed Sabaku. I do have Shabby in the wings who will extreme speed him. Yeah, he does outspeed me, but he's an idiot. He uses Quiver Dance again, which means if I hit this rock slide, he's going down. I mean, we're, we won this run. Wow, that was an anti-climactic anti fight, wasn't it? I've had... I've had harder fights in, air, in like, Area 10 than the boss trainer. But we've done it. We have done it. We defeated Benga. We defeated the White Tree Hollow. All, all areas from Area One to Area Ten. It is done. I can't believe that. That took a long, long time to complete. You are your Pokémon's combination. Amazing teamwork. Places where humans can't go alone. Places where Pokémon don't think to go. You can go anywhere with teamwork. Between trainers and Pokémon, like you and me. I'm glad you understand that now. Hey! 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 You better come to Grandpa's house. You know where it is? In Flockacy Town. I'll give you something awesome. It's a promise, okay? Yes, we will be heading to Flockacy Town, but now that we're done with the White Tree Hollow, I can't believe it and we're done with it! Oh my god! Oh my... All, all of the areas? Can that be true? You sure know how to impress. Congratulations! Commemorate your conquering the areas! Please accept this price. <gasps> you! You're the biggest asshole I've ever seen in my entire one red candy from completing area frame 10. The hardest area in the entire white triolo, and you're giving me punch someone in the face. But yeah, we. <laughs> We're done here, and actually, what you want to do before you head to Flockacy Town is have one space open in your in your party, and I'll see, I'll show you guys why. But yeah, that that is quite unbelievable. With that, we actually don't have that much left of Pokemon Y2 remaining now. We're almost done. I'm just gonna bring up the town map to just okay. Where is there is the town map? I think 
But uh, I don't know if there's any more legendary Pokemon to catch, but the only thing I will do now is go to the clay, clay tunnel, go through Twist Mountain, and then I will go to Anvil Town, and then we're taking on the Elite Four for the second time. I know in a Pokemon Pokemon World Tournament you can fight trainers from all from like all the generations, like gym leaders, I think Elite Four members, or I think strictly gym leaders. Maybe it's, I I I don't know, but I'm not going to be doing that because I spent so much time now on Pokemon Y2. I just want to move on to Pokemon X. If I'm going to be completely honest, I mean this is my longest Let's Play to date, being over 30 hours long. I just want to complete it, and there's lots of other videos on the on YouTube just show it. Showing you all these battles, so I just don't want to go through it if I'm going to be completely honest. So I'm just going to do uh, like Twist Mountain and then Anvil Town, and then take care. And then the finale will be the Elite Four and Champion Battle for a second time. I I think that's I think that sounds like I think that sounds like a good plan in my opinion because I just want to finish this game now you guys been asking for Pokemon X and Y and I'm and I want to do it so I just want to finish this game at this point but I'm finally done I that took I mean the area is took way longer than I first anticipated when I started the challenge but with that in mind hello there when you find something you want to do, you should take it on without a moment of doubt. Don't worry, I Pokemon game if you're together. Haven't you said this already? Yeah, I think yes. But Benga, hey, hey, hey! It was a promise between me and you. We had the best match. Well, I'm just gonna say I just swept the floor with you. I only used four attacks, and your Pokemon was level 80. You had a freaking Latias, Dragonite, and a Volcarona, and I just, I just decimated you. This is to remember it by Racist Dratini. And I know what you're thinking. A Dratini? Is that all? Well, there's something a little bit. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to. Wait. I'm not setting my foot in the white tree hole one more time, I swear to god. You'll get a level 1 Dratini, and I've, I know what you're thinking. This isn't anything special, I mean, it's just a level 1 Dratini. Is that all you get for beating all 10 areas of the white tree hole? Well, it's actually a. Shiny Dratini holding an experience share, so that is your That is your prize for completing the white tree hollow. Oh my god, it It is now when I realize it is it has been done. It has been conquered. It has been conquered and uh, As I said Next thing I'm going to do is going to go through the clay tunnel or go to the Twist Mountain and then check out Anvil Town. So I don't know how many episodes there are going to be left. Probably two, two to three episodes, maybe. I don't know. We'll see about that. So, anyway, next time on Pokemon Y2, we'll be heading out to Twist Mountain and maybe to Anvil Town, depending on how big Twist Mountain is. But I will see you guys next time. Good bye.